Okay, a new day, a new Shane Lafner vlog um, on my little autumn break trip. So right now I'm in a hotel room in Amsterdam, but I'm leaving this morning, so this is my last time seeing Amsterdam for presumably ever. Who knows? Um, not going to miss the city so much because I wasn't super into it, but I'm going to miss the Netherlands like crazy. That's my favorite country I've been to. People, just the vibe, ugh, it's great. But today I'm taking the train to Cologne, Germany, which I'm very excited about. It'll be my first time in Germany, so new country. It's my 10th country, so that's insane because like literally before my study abroad trip, I've been to two countries. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys while I'm on the train going through that Dutch countryside. <laughs> Here we are in Germany. Okay, on my phone for a second. I've gone to Cologne, Germany. There's the station. Oh my god, that's the cathedral. That's my first time seeing it just now. Like, look. That's insane, okay. Yeah, it's gotta be probably the most impressive church I've seen. I mean, it's super famous, obviously. But, uh, yeah, big difference here is, of all the countries, even Belgium, this has the least English, like in terms of just like the signs and stuff. No, it's all German. It's also like new and uninteresting. What the heck? I guess that's what happens when you're part of the Axis powers. Yeah, most of the city was like destroyed in World War II, so. Hey, this is where I'm staying. Very cute looking. Uh, I like this little entrance, unique, right across from like some green, which is nice. Okay, so despite my uh, poor first impression and Ugh, got that sound going on. Um, it is a very cool looking hotel, which I think is nice, and it looks like it's a nice place. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. It's like October 28th, and for some reason the high is 75. With these super new wide streets, it kind of gives me the Belgian vibes, like Brussels. Oh, there we go, there's a pretty building. Ooh, I like that yeah, this definitely otherwise feels like very much like an American city. Yo, look at this whole view. So you're like, I mean, around the corner of the entire This is not the most insane thing. This, this building is huge. Yeah, this is so funny. Like, I was just like in an empty city and like, all of a sudden it opens up to just tourist, 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 tourist. Even if like all these columns are blackened with age, you know, all the pollution and stuff, it's still so impressive. You know, can just like go up and touch it. I'm not sure how much of this is original. Obviously, a good amount is relatively original, but yeah, it's cool. There's something so weird about accessing this through like sliding automatic doors, but alas. Look at the stained glass. That's beautiful. Cool. Right people lighting a candle. Look, you can put your hand in the holy water. Inside, you get the vaulted ceilings. And in the center, look how high these go. This is my favorite work right here so far. That's magnificent. That is such an elegant organ right there. Why are there like eight organs? What the hell? I guess they need a lot of sound to, to get through this building. There's so many scattered pieces of just like random religious art. This is like the most intricate art I've I've seen it a lot of this is just...
This is like an almost 2,000 year old Roman cell. That was just like kind of under next to the building. And here are some of the cathedral plantations in 1360. Whoa, this is kind of tricky. I got my ticket and then we got lost. There's some of this. Probably the tallest of Belfry in my farm. This type. I think it's interesting here. People just go up to you and speak in German. This is the first country where they full on just expect me to know. Look, you can get a peek at how high we are already. Getting pretty high up. We, look at this. Oh. Taking a little pivot to look at the bells. Big of the bell. There, there was the reverberation, and that was so loud. Oh my god. Got some more to climb. Here we go. We're back to these little sketchy spiral stairs. Wow, we are high. I was hoping for more unobstructed view, but. Maybe that is yet to come because we have one little final stretch. Perhaps. Wow. This is cool. Besides the fence, this is pretty fantastic. This is a pretty famous bridge right here. I can definitely tell you this used to be a major industrial city. This this whole area of West Germany. Oh my god, I can't imagine climbing this ladder to like that. Now it's time for a very long way down. Oh. After climbing 332 feet, I think it said. Uh, just, wow, that's insane. And then going down, like I'm frankly a little dizzy from like 300 plus feet of spiral staircase, but very cool overall. Damn, people really lining up to go into a Louis Vuitton. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, I climbed all the way up there. It's, it's crazy. So now I need to find out where this treasury is because that was the other part of my ticket. Treasury and Belfry. Oh my god, those arches are just to die for. The intricacy. Oh, this is a really impressive treasury. Oh my god. The lighting too. Like This is like foundations from like the 1300s. And oh, it's so cinematic. I'm not even looking at the treasure. I'm just like paying attention to the lighting. I'm such a film major. So yeah, you saw the treasury. That was pretty cool, small, but you know, my ticket was like for student 450 for that in the Belfry, so very worth it. Um, and then afterwards, uh, best thing I've done here by far. I mean, I've only done like two things, but Gafel Am Dam, it's like this massive beer hall, like right across from Cologne, uh, C Cologne Cathedral. And I assumed like, oh, this is gonna be touristy, right? Even though it was like serving like Rhineland cuisine, you know, like food from here. I got meatloaf, which I'll show you the picture. Nothing like American meatloaf. So good. Um, it was so weird that my experience, I just want to talk about it for a second. Um, you know, I go in, I sit down, I realize like this place, like even though there are a lot of tourists, there's also like a ton of locals watching the game. Like if you've seen the show Ted Lasso, they have their scarves on. It felt like a German Ted Lasso, which was really cool that it was like a lot of locals and that it was authentic. You know, um, and you have to just sit down yourself and you ask for a menu, you ask like for uh, when you're ready to get an order, like the waiter doesn't come around. And the one thing the waiter does do, which is weird, that you don't ask for, is just puts down a beer. Everyone gets a beer. Um, it was like Geffel Dosk or something. Fantastic. I'm not a beer guy, but that was a really good German beer. I only had one, of course, because <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of want to get through the day without just like switching the phone because uh, my memory card filled up. But yeah, no, really good service, great food love the vibes everyone cheering like crazy every time like the team we get near to score and go I don't know I don't really know much about soccer or football oh my god look at the cathedral behind me but yeah no that was just a great local experience highly recommend going to one of these beer halls so I saw these cool looking like pretzel things with like almonds around them at uh Marysonich bakery 
Uh, it might be chocolatey too. I got one. I was like, why not? As I walked to Old Town. So uh, let's dive in. Even though it's shaped like a pretzel, it is not a pretzel. I repeat, it is not a pretzel. Nice church right here, but now I've entered Old Town, which compared to a lot of other European cities, doesn't feel that old. Like this is a very nice plaza. I actually really like this part of the city. Like it's definitely a, it, it, it's it's made up for that bad first impression for sure. But uh, when most of the city was obliterated in World War II, I guess not much is left from before then. Here we have another uh, famous church in the city, the St. Martin's. I'll go around for a better view. I love this little like, park area. There's like on the other side of a couple buildings from Old Town, which is like right there, like that. Yeah. Very pretty, simple, but nice. I finally made it to the bank of the Rhine. Also like, dude, when did this city get so like pretty and cute? I, like, I love this actually. There's like that iconic bridge. Okay, I'm loving walking the Rhine River, especially on like a beautiful day like today. Really cool how they have all those steps on the other side. Just, that's a very peaceful aspect to it. This part of the city definitely just feels chill. And I love these facades, as well as like the St. Martin Church over there. They're so colorful. They're very just like embracing the German stuff. Also, it looks like there's a fair going on. Like, I think I'm gonna have to just cross this bridge over here just to see what's up over there, even if I don't go on any rides. Got some more spiral stairs to get up this bridge. Ugh. Dude, I'm gonna have a nightmare tonight about spiral stairs or something. What a view. So what you just saw here inside was like St. Herbert's Church. St. Herbert, I don't know how to exactly pronounce it, but uh, that was really cool. It's just a very simple one. It's such stark contrast to, uh, you know, the Cologne Cathedral, but it definitely has like a, very German vibe to it. I love how it was painted in the inside and how the wooden like kind of almost thatched roof. But yeah, cool stuff. Crossed the river and made it to the fair. Oh, look at that in the background, the cathedral. Insanity. This is cute. A lot of fair little snacks to eat. They got some rides. I saw they have like a one like wild mouse roller coaster. I like these marquees. I've always wanted to go to German fair because if you know one thing about me, you know I love roller coasters and theme parks and all that stuff. German fairs are kind of iconic. This one's obviously kind of small, but like, you know what? I'm just gonna spend a little time here and walk around, maybe go on a ride or two. This is gonna be cool. I I'm not gonna be here at night, unfortunately, because I got some work to do. And I know fairs have such a great vibe at night. We got a lot of stuff. We got pasta. Dude, can, can American fairs have pasta? That is so sick. Also, this is the smallest bumper cars ever. That's adorable. Really cool pirate walkthrough. That's that's sick. It's crazy. All this stuff is portable. Oh yeah, the action cinema 9D. I didn't even know there was 9Ds possible. That's a lot of dimensions. This is so bizarre. Like, what is this game? Why are there all the tickets on the ground? Dude, one guy is just standing up on it. Look at that. Dude, that's, I love this stuff when it's just not allowed in America. Like, literally, he's standing on this ride. Look at that guy. Oh, it's New York. Would you look at that? Oh my God, all these like fried foods and sweets smell so good. I'm like so appetized and I ate a full lunch already. And at the very end is the Wild Mouse, which I'm excited for. This was smooth, really fun. Not too many breaks during the first half of the ride, which made it so fun, these hairpin turns. And I'm such a doofus. I went on the side that was closer to land, not the river. Because like, it's not every day you get the chance to ride a coaster next to the Rhine River, let alone a wild mouse where it literally makes it feel like you're gonna be thrown over the edge. And like, look, it's just this one pathway that's in between the cars and the river. Yo, so uh, when I said in my last vlog, this is the most anti-climatic ending to a vlog. Well, today beat it. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my phone, uh, portable charger, lost battery, and I was at like 1% walking through the city of Cologne. And thankfully, I'm like a direction god, so not to like flex or anything, but um, I was able to still find my way back to the hotel without needing any navigation and stuff. Um, again, like Christopher Columbus, but without all the bad parts, I guess. Um, yeah, so... 
that happened, but after, you know, doing the fair, which was really fun, you saw that, um, you know, I crossed the river and I did the chocolate museum. I took some photos there, you can see. Uh, it was awesome. The, I, I got a good amount of free chocolate from it, which was kind of cool. I mean, it's not free, it's part of the, the you know, the thing. Um, but it was a really cool exhibit. They talked about the history of chocolate. Um, there was a lot of, like, old artifacts from, like, European, like, when chocolate became big there. There was stuff from, like, Mayan culture and other, like, Native American cultures in, like, Mesoamerica, which was so cool and just random. It was, like, a history museum, too. Um, overall, one of the best museums I've seen in Europe. And, of course, you know, they have the whole, like, actual factory where they're making chocolate. You have to try some. Fantastic. And then I just walked back, and that's kind of been it. You know, I've been pounding away on my screenwriting, trying to get my pages in. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the day. Thank you guys for watching. I had a great time in Cologne. It started off, I was like, the city sucks. Then I realized, even though it's kind of underwhelming for a city of like a million people, um, the center area with all that good stuff going down is really cool. I love it. I wish I could have spent more time here. 